Hey Sunday Clubbers, we are back again for another session today. And today we're going to be having a little think about some food. So I have a question to start you off. What is the strangest food you think you've eaten? What do you reckon? Well, I was thinking about this and my answer I think is going to have to be honey. And you might think honey, that's fairly normal. But honey is actually a very strange thing because all honey really is is bee sick. Blah. That's how they make honey. They go blah out of their mouths and that is how they make it. So I don't know if you've ever thought about that before. There's an interesting thing to think the next time you have honey, but that's the strangest thing that I think I eat, not with any regularity, but uh, I like to eat it sometimes. Well, while you're having to think about that, we're going to go across to one of our new faces for today, Melissa. And Melissa is going to take us through our warm-up activity. So let's go straight across to Melissa. Today we are going to play a game to show God's provision. Because he provided for Elijah, he allowed the ravens to come and feed him while he was hiding from King Ahab. So, you can get anything you want, little pieces of Lego, marble, something like that, and place them around the floor. Get a mum to place them around the floor or a dad. What you have to do with or without siblings is try and see how many pieces of God's provision or the food that we're going to have ravens drop on the floor. Pick them up, put them into a bowl, and time yourselves. So here we go. Ready? Steady? Thank you so much, Melissa, for that. And thank you, Tom, for that amazing camera work. Uh, maybe we'll get you doing some of the filming for Sunday Club in the future. Well, today we're, as I say, thinking about food. I wonder what those funny things are that you eat, maybe on a regular basis, or maybe it's just something you've only eaten once. I think one of the other weird things that I really quite enjoy eating is uh, squid. I don't know if you like eating squid. We call, often call it just calamari. Uh, and we can have it either just as it is, cut up, or maybe breaded, or fried. All sorts of ways we eat calamari, uh, squid, or octopus, all the same thing, really. But today we're going to hear about a story not to do with someone eating something weird, but being delivered by some very strange things. So the food wasn't delivered uh, maybe from the supermarket, or on the back of a moped, like a takeaway, or even uh, like a waiter or a waitress in a restaurant. It was delivered by something very different. So we're going to go across to Jill. So everybody give a big hi to Jill as she gives us our story. Hi, Jill! Hello, girls and boys. My name's Jill, and I've been asked to tell you the Bible story today. Well, at the end, it mentions some very helpful birds. And I've got a little friend who's a very helpful bird and he'd love to help me read this story to you. So I've asked him if he would read the voice of God and I'll read the rest of the story. Here he is, his name is Charlie Bird. Are you ready, Charlie? Hello there, girls and boys. Nice to read to you today. OK, we're ready then. Elijah was one of God's friends. God gave him important messages to give to other people. One day, God said, Elijah, I want you to go and see King Ahab. Now, King Ahab was a bad person, and Elijah was very frightened. He knew the king would get so angry when he heard God's message. King Ahab, Elijah said, I have come to tell you that there will be no more rain until I say so. 
there will not even be any dew on the grass in the mornings. God told Elijah about a special place where he could hide from the king. You will be safe there, God said. You can drink water from the stream, and I will make sure you have enough food. Every day, friendly big black birds called ravens swooped down. They carried pieces of bread and meat for Elijah in their strong beaks. God provided everything that Elijah needed. And God provides everything that you and I need, girls and boys. That's the end of our story. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Jill, for that story. And it's a really good story to have around this time of year because it talks about God's provision. So last week during our services, we were thinking about God's provision as part of harvest. And today we get a story about God's provision. Isn't that awesome? Well, maybe you want to have a think about some other things that God provides us with, or maybe the ways in which God provides us with things, because Sometimes God has a funny way of working. There's a phrase that says God moves in mysterious ways, and it's very true. Sometimes God gives things to us or does things in ways that we are really not expecting. So I'm just going to give you a second to maybe think about some of the ways that you have seen God do things in your life. Or maybe you've heard about some ways that God has done things. It could be maybe delivered food by bird, like he did for Elijah, or it could be that he's maybe answered someone's prayers, maybe not by giving them exactly what they want, but by doing something else that's helped them in some other way. So we're just going to have a brief think about that, and then we are going to pray. So let's pray, shall we? God, we thank you that you provide for us, not just for our food, but for everything, for our physical things, but also for our emotional needs, our spiritual needs, our mental needs. We pray for all those who are currently in a place where they don't have all that they need. We pray that you would provide the things that they need. And if that means that we have to get involved and be like the ravens were for Elijah, we pray that you would help us and show us how to do that. Amen. Well, we are going to go across to Jenny now, who has got our craft. So, Jenny, over to you. Hello, everyone. Jenny here. Those friendly big black birds that helped Elijah were very important because they kept Elijah alive with the bread and meat they brought. The birds were ravens, which are about the size of chickens, so they would have been able to carry quite a lot of bread and meat to the cache that Elijah ate from. So today we will make big black ravens to remind us that God is very good at keeping his promises and making good things happen even when everything looks very bad and scary. So you will need a card, a black pen, maybe a pencil, some scissors and some black tissue paper or other paper to fold into wings. First, you need your bird shape. You may need several attempts before you draw the bird outline. But when you're satisfied with the shape, you can draw it out and then you can cut it out. And you'll get a bird like this. And you need, as well as cutting out the shape, cut a slit for the wings, colour in his eye, 
and his feathers. And now we need the wings. And you need to fold the tissue paper back and forth. And when you've folded all of it, you just pop it through the slit about halfway. Open up the wings. And he's ready to fly and help Elijah. Have a good time making your birds. Bye. Thank you guys for being here this afternoon. It's been great to be with you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday or whatever day you might happen to be watching, that you enjoy the rest of your week. And maybe have a look out for those ways in which God provides for us, both as individuals, but also more generally. It could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be the church. Who knows? There's lots of ways that God provides. So keep your eyes out for those things. And we'll see you guys again next Sunday. Bye bye.